हेलो गाइस दिस इज प्रतीक फ्रॉम होम गार्डनिंग एंड एज प्रोमिस्ड इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू व्हाट इज सीवीड फर्टिलाइजर आई विल मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सीवीड फर्टिलाइजर एंड हाउ कैन बी यूज द फर्टिलाइजर टू ऑल आवर प्लांट्स सो आई विल गिव यू सम बैकग्राउंड अबाउट व्हाट इज सीवीड फर्टिलाइजर actually there are around 12000 plus varieties of seaweed and uh, yeah just a minute okay so the fertilizer i am going to apply is premium liquid seaweed fertilizer concentrate for plants uh, it is by organic dues i have ordered it from uh, amazon and it costed me somewhere around 2 uh, 35 indian rupees so it's near about 4 uh, to 5 us dollars it's 250 ml of uh, seaweed fertilizers and uh, so in terms of soil seaweed does not add great uh, deal of bulk but it's jelly like alginate alginate uh contain helps to bind soil crumbs together and it contains all nutrients so uh so nutrients are like uh, 0.3% of uh, nitrogen and uh, uh 1 1% of uh, potassium and 1% of calcium so yeah plus full range of trace elements and amino acids which are very very important for the plant's growth so it's not just not about that you should add uh, uh, npk to the soil which will boost uh, the growth of the plant but also you have to ensure that there are amino acids in your soil which will help the good bacteria to grow uh, healthy for those who cannot gather seaweed uh it can available it it is available commercially in dried meal form or in as a concentrated liquid form which i am using and uh, and it's cost effective as well by using chemical fertilizer you have to invest lot into the chemical fertilizers but this is just for 250 bucks and Uh, this can like be used in 5000 liters of water entirely so uh, now i'll show you how can we apply so it's lots of talking now let's do the practical i'll show you how we add uh, how we mixed up the concentration and uh, how can we start so here you can see i have took a half packet water so it's around 15 to 20 liters we'll we'll just see it's a big bucket and uh, the water i have took is half and i'll show you how can we add the seaweed fertilizer safely okay so first of all what we will do Take it away. See me. I'll put the camera away so you can have a better picture. Okay. So this is the sea weed, and there is a measuring cap on this. I'll open this. I have pre-opened this bottle. It's dark black in color. or you can say it's dark very very dark brown as like in dark chocolate so for this much i'll uh, oops i'll pour cap i'll take a full cap it's around 25 to 30 ml and so the maths is like uh it's 3 ml to uh 
3 ml to uh, 1 liter so I'm counting its approximate uh, 10 liters so we'll add uh, so we will add this cap you rinse it properly every drop counts and uh, okay so I'll close this bottle keep aside and uh, there are a few drops on the stool so we'll use that as well it's actually a pretty messy job so I, ha I already kept uh, cloth dirty cloth near to me so I knew something bad would happen <laughs> okay so after adding stir it well actually in fertilizers so we'll go out and add that fertilizer to our plants so in fertilizers always ensure uh, do less but not more okay so what does it means actually is that there's no problem in adding less fertilizer but adding more can be disastrous so uh, so the plant, big plant like this take a full uh, mug which is I think a liter mug and add it to the plant near the roots and for the smaller plants so this is the basil plant uh, we call it tulsi a uh, half or less than that would be more than enough and same about these other small plants oh, this is garbera this is wine red color garbera but there are no flowers yet it will bloom shortly and this is a jasmine like plant but it is scentless this is again the garbera Sorry for the noise. Okay. And this is some shoe plant. This is jas jasmine. For jasmine, I'll add full uh, full mug. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Let it drink properly. And now we have the palm tree. Yeah. The entire oh just sorry. Nice entire full mug for palm. Both the palms. I have two palms. Okay. Okay. Till the jasmine is drinking okay we'll uh, add to this is the rose plant which is burned accidentally but still you can see new shoots are coming after proper care and the grass which you can see it's not a grass it's a wheat so i'm making some ayurvedic uh, products out of it like wheat grass juice wheat grass powder so it's trial basis i'm doing it okay so for this plant as well so this is a very stubborn plant so which doesn't uh, die very easily so we will add full mug of seaweed uh, let it drink it uh, for seaweed we can actually uh, uh, 
you can actually fill the sprayer bottle and also uh, spray it on all the plants over the plants as well but i don't like spraying it all over the plants because it's black in color and uh, it doesn't look good there are some, some patches so yeah jasmine has drank all the half mug uh, uh, so now we will add another half mug let it drink so i have uh, like two or three mugs more left so we will add it further to our curry leaf one more mug to palm and one more mug to another palm so you have to ensure you don't overdo it mm. understand what your plants are understand the size of the plants okay and ensure that you are not overdoing to any plant so i'll add little bit more to the garbera because it's strong plant this garbera and rest to this plant so yeah guys uh, so this was my video and uh, i hope you you would have liked it and uh, i hope to see you in next my videos please do subscribe so it will keep me moralized to make uh, more and more videos and uh, also like my video click thumbs up button and hope to see you guys guys soon bye bye